everybody, welcome to Good Buddy Tactical. Today we uh, are going to show you how to clean your AR. This is just how I do it. So uh, the first thing I'm gonna do is detach some of these uh, extra uh, pieces on the rifle because this is gonna make the whole thing easier. Get rid of that. Good thing about uh, some of these items is that they are all quick detach. Try and be safe. Luckily, these are good quality things, so they're meant to take a little bit of a beating here and there. Okay. So there we go with that. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we are going to open and detach the upper from the lower. So you're just gonna pull out these little pins right here. Probably could have done that in a better way, but there you go. So here's your upper and your lower. There's a few things that you're gonna need. One is you're gonna need a tool kit, and then you're also gonna need a rifle cleaning kit. And then also, of course, a uh, trusty dash toothbrush and then a CLP of some kind. I like to use a uh, SIG Spec 1 system. So you're gonna push this little uh, tension piece right here. You're gonna push it down, push the spring in, push that down, and this guy should come out. Okay, so I have this little uh, bucket here to put things in. Here, I'm gonna add just a little bit of water. And the first thing we're gonna add into that water mixture is the bore cleaner. We're gonna spray on top, spray on top. And we're gonna spray in some of the degreaser as well. Get these pieces nice and done up in this mixture. Now I also have some paper towels that get most of just everything clean. And you give it a quick wipe off and once you see it's pretty clean, you know there's no black on it anywhere, that one's ready to go. Let's get the, the spring a little bit. Wipe this off. So basically, just gonna throw a little bit of the, whatever your CLP is, down into that cabin, that cavity. Just keep throwing them down in there until everything is clean, you know? Okay. Another thing I like to use is uh, some just duster spray to spray out anything that might be left in there. Shove it down in there. Just keep twisting it around until you're happy with it. Then, for this lower trigger, you're gonna just put a little bit of the degreaser in there. I'm gonna go in with the toothbrush, try and just loosen up any, any carbon that might be in there. Get down in there. Okay. And I'm gonna just dry it out. Dust, but if there is any dust, that's where you got this. That really anyway, once it looks pretty, pretty good, uh, you're done with your lower. 
then we are going to work on the upper. I'm going to go ahead and pull out the barrel itself from the free floating handguard. First, so we're going to pull out the bolt carrier group. So that. This is the charging handle. And we're just going to put that and let it sit in our solution. Okay, let's take a look at this bolt carrier group. Well, first of all, you're going to take out the little pin that's right here. mini screwdriver just get in there and just pop it out so here's that and we're gonna throw that into the solution right there sorry pop out the uh, firing pin first throw that in there into your CLP mixture then we flip this to a 90 degree angle we did that anyway so there we go pop out this little piece right here your bolt should come out. So yeah, we're just gonna let all that just sit into our little thing, our little vat, and we're actually gonna take the bolt carrier as well and throw it all in there. Spray down in here, some of that CLP, whatever you got, and then spray it on into the barrel too. Okay, now that we've let that sit for a second, we're gonna go in here with the toothbrush and try and like just loosen up some of the carbon these little spots in here because this is where I really I mean look at that okay so there is our assembled rod and here we have the scrapers you want to stick it through the way that the bullet will eventually travel just in and out mop Okay, and you just mop that up. See how dirty that came back? Yeah. Little piece into the CLP as well. Actually, this little case comes with a, these little pieces of fabric. So I'm gonna go ahead, throw these on top like that. And we're gonna throw that in there as well. Push it back out. You can see how dirty that already is. You should probably use it to just keep cleaning up this little area in here. And like I said, just, just take your time. If you see a spot that maybe you missed or something, you know, maybe you can hit it with the... You'd be surprised how well this stuff, you know, really gets those little pieces of moisture out of the crevices. It's probably the best tip that I have from this video. Anyway, that looks looks pretty good. I want to put a little bit on this gas block. Just look how much comes off of that gas block. Okay, and at least for our purposes. That upper and barrel is done, at least with the cleaning. Firing pin, I see that, that toothbrush, old school, but works really well. Gets the rest of it off of there. Cool, that one looks good. That one's good to go over there. Next, let's do, uh, let's get this little one out of the way, this little pin. I mean, just sitting in there in the in the CLP solution, I think this is probably just enough to, all you have to do is wipe this thing off. And that's fine, throw that over there. 
Next we got, just wipe this off. Again, you know, this is, build up as much, but if you want to hit it with the toothbrush, right around the, you know, the top head. Get the bristles inside the hole there and just knock it in. And that one's done. Next. Well, let's do the charging handle next, why not? And here, stick the toothbrush in, get in there. And the charging handle is done. Full bolt carrier. It makes it easier to get all this stuff off if you get to it quickly. Yeah. We're gonna come in here and in the back part of the bolt carrier is where you wanna mop on the inside right here and then the, the hole on the inside. It's like can curb your enthusiasm. What, I use a lot of napkins. Don't hate. Okay, yeah, you see that? Nice. Full carrier, done. Okay, now, finally, let's get the, move on to the bolt itself. We're gonna start with the brush, the toothbrush, and just, just keep hitting this thing until I'm satisfied with it. That's a clean bolt. Now, I like to use a lot of lube. And this is where cut, having gloves really comes in handy because you can just do this with your hands. And it makes it go real quick. So you got some still on your hands. You put a little drop on the inside of there. Got this little piece lubed up. Firing pin. Bolt carrier done up. On the inside, on the inside. Side. Over here, over here. Cool. Charging handle, get a little bit in there, on here, here, and here, especially. Maybe on here, over here, over here, just with like the excess lube that's on my. You know, not like too, too much, nothing so crazy. And of course, along here, throw that on. Run some up here, run some over here, run some over here. Then we're gonna put the bolt in. Then we're gonna put the firing pin in, away from the back, into the bolt. There you go. All right, there we go. Take our holding pin. There we go. We're gonna grab our charging handle. We're gonna put that in. Then you're gonna take your bolt carrier group and with the sprocket side. You're gonna go in and it just slides right in. Take our lower. Okay, in, pull that down, in, and there you go. Cleaned and polished.